You might have noticed an unusual amount of critters crawling all over your property this year. You are not alone. Uh, there's an outbreak of caterpillars swarming forests, backyards, even driveways across Canada this summer, particularly in northern Ontario. So why are these fuzzy creatures suddenly seemingly everywhere? For more, I'm joined now by Amanda Rowe in Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. She is a research scientist with the Canadian Forest Service. Amanda, thank you so much for being here with us. Oh, I'm happy to be here. Okay, so why are there so many caterpillars this year? Well, the first thing I want to say is that they are um, they are native insects. So these are the forest tent caterpillar. Um, they're always around, but as a lot of people have noticed, there's a lot of them around this year. So these caterpillars go through cycles. They go through a period of time when they're at very low numbers or low density and then they go to very, very high densities. Why they do that, um, we aren't exactly sure, but we know they go in very regular cycles. So if you look at Ontario, every 10 to 12 years, they go from that low density, those low numbers, to very high numbers. We just happen to be in the high number uh, period right now. So I thought caterpillars liked leaves, Amanda, but we're seeing them everywhere, including on the pavement. So what's happening there? So they start in the trees and people don't really notice them when they're little. So they start as tiny little caterpillars up at the tips of the trees and they start eating the leaves up there. When they get big enough, they've actually eaten a lot of the leaves off of the tree they started on and then they actually have to go and find new trees. And so that's when they come down out of the tree and they start crawling and they migrate, move from one tree to the next as they're looking for more food. Okay. This is when people really start to notice them because they're big and they're on the ground or on their cars or on their decks. And that's when people start to get uh, a bit more upset by uh, the presence of these caterpillars. Yeah, or grossed out. Um, <laughs> Amanda, when, when will the caterpillars be gone? When will we see fewer of them? <laughs> so these guys, when they're at this stage of moving and when they're really big, it means we're actually near the end of that, uh, of their life cycle within the year. Uh, they're probably only going to be around for another week or so, and then they're going to turn into their, they'll pupate or turn in, form a cocoon, and that will be on the sides of, uh, of buildings or on fences or on the trees. And then about 10 days later, that's when they come out as a moth. But those moths are only going to be, they only live for a day or two. They actually don't even have mouths. They can't eat. So they have one job, um, to make babies. And so they're going to come out at night. So unless you have your porch light on, you might never actually see the moths. And then they'll disappear for the rest of the year. And they won't come out again until next spring. Is there anything we should do or should we just leave them be? So I personally love these guys. I actually uh, am doing research on them at uh, the Canadian Forest Service here in Sault Ste. Marie. Um, and my daughters are very uh, happy caterpillar hunters. We have a whole table full of caterpillars that we're rearing inside. So we have a lot of fun with them. Um, and at this stage, it, there isn't really um, much that you can do uh, because they're almost done the, their feeding stage. And so, you could take a hose to them and spray your deck off, uh, but using any sort of chemical or pesticide control isn't really going to do much. And the really neat thing about our trees is they're adapted to this species because it is native. And they have the time to actually put out a whole new flush of leaves. So if you have a tree that's been eaten, chomped pretty bad by the caterpillars, that tree by the end of the summer will actually have another set of leaves. Okay, well, we'll just... I guess enjoy them while they're here. Amanda Rowe in Sault Ste. Marie, thanks so much for being here.